of family? What is the place of society? What is the place of religion in bringing up a morally upright patriotic citizenry? So that we can better understand the breakdown that leads into young people committing femicide, the moral challenge we have in families where family members end up being a threat to themselves and where society has adopted a deviant, belligerent posture. You now hear of incidences of Maisha Niyangu, Shukulika Nayaku. Where does that leave family, society, community, religion, tradition, and culture? My second assignment is on information. There is an avalanche of information. As I said yesterday, because of the different spaces of available information, it is much more easy today to inform the public, to educate the public, to even entertain the public, but also equally it is much more easy to misinform the public, to disinform the public, for fake news to travel miles before you know what the truth is. What is the place of fake news, of social media, and the advent of misinformation, fake news, disinformation, and what effect it has on public understanding and governance and public trust on institution, institutions that are supposed to be responsible for governance. I'm sure these are issues that are of importance and requires intellectual discourse, intellectual interrogation to give us pathways for us to chart going into the future. In today's interconnected world, risks and threats easily escalate into global crises and disasters. However, our collective and individual security can be significantly enhanced through partnership and strategic alliances. Challenges such as climate change, transitional crime, cross-border terrorism, and instability driven by scarcity or economic crisis often transcend borders. Kenya's security depends on the strength of our collaborative framework with regional neighbors and global allies. Fostering dynamic and responsive partnership frameworks that promote mutual respect, shared security, and inclusive prosperity calls for strategic capacity that I urge you as graduates of this great university to develop. I am encouraged by the university's leadership in fostering such alliances as exemplified by initiative like the Senior Professional Military Education Commandants Forum, which brings together military leaders from across Africa to share insights and best practices. This kind of collaborate, collaboration must be expanded and deepened to include a broader range of professionals and organizations, thereby enhancing our collective capability to address emerging security threats. There can no longer be any doubt that in the 21st century, technology underpins our defense strategies. Consequently, it is imperative that this university moves with urgency to establish itself firmly as a hub of security-related research and innovation 
so as to consolidate Kenya's military capabilities while developing valuable